It feels like every time I talk about a game in Gust's Atelier series, it comes down to the same three points. There's a whole lot of blushing anime girls in moderately suggestive situations, the gameplay emphasizes item collection and time management while relegating RPG action to the sidelines, and there's not much difference between this and its sequels. So if clambering about the countryside, finding interesting bits of grass, and bringing them home to pitch into a cauldron so you can make a cannon or some pie or something, all while suffering a massive blood rush to the head because your teacher made a pass at you sounds like your cup of alchemically synthesized tea, then you can thank Jared in Missouri for donating this tea. I may be oversimplifying, but then again, this is a pretty simple game all told. The RPG side of it, anyway. The alchemy system is a melange of quality values, traits, subclassifications, and item collecting that comprises the bulk of the game here. As the eponymous Rorona, which is short for something longer and even more ridiculous, you're living the easy life, being the moe plaything of a delinquent alchemist, until some strapping man from the castle comes a calling and informs you that the shop's gonna get shut down because no one in town likes you. Unfortunately, you can't just Venkman him into using the magic word, so your only recourse is to bend over backward, taking on assignments from the bureaucracy until they deign to let you continue your business. And if that wasn't enough busy work, you can also take on fetch quests from the Office of Fetch Questing, or so it should be named, to try to rebuild the town's faith and trust in you. Good freaking luck. <laughs> I know I sound kind of down on the whole enterprise here, but honestly, I expect more. I happen to know that you can do alchemy-heavy item crafting in the context of impressive, innovative RPG mechanics and a compelling story. It was called Monokemia. Sure, it was in 2D and reeked of Harry Potter, but it felt substantive. I tell you, Rorona's biggest problem is that it doesn't really hook the player at all. It's just fetch quests, enough innuendo to make you uncomfortable with the cheesiness of it all, and the occasional reminder that you have to spend time and effort making new weapons and armor that take you from get your ass handed to you to no contest. But if you're just looking for a study in combinatorics, blushing, and doreotskao, yeah, put on your apron and you get to alchemy. I, on the other hand, will be playing through Monokemia again.